Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Gary Dean Detailing. I'm up on the roof of this RV and uh, gonna get started for the day. So this is where we're at. I got some of the perfect soap in the bucket. I fill the bu bucket with water. Got my hose. I have a scrub brush for the roof. I also have Tiger's Blood Cleaner and the pump sprayer. That's actually straight up Tiger's Blood. I'm, a, I'm gonna dilute it a bit before I use it. But you can see how nasty the roof is. I'm gonna get this thing straightened out. They're trying to sell it, so anyway. I'm gonna get started, fill the buck up, bucket up with water, fill the tiger's blood situation with water. It'll be good to go. When you're up on an RV, you always wanna make sure you have your footing. Be safe. When you step, be secure in your steps. Pay attention to where you're walking. And uh, when it gets wet, it will get slicker. So be aware. So just be careful. Also, the edges, the edges right here where the gutter is, it's real important you get that stuff straightened out while you're up here. It's a lot easier to clean from the top all the way over to the awning. So I'll be scrubbing all that stuff while I'm here. All right, I'm up on this roof still, scrubbing her down, making some progress. Let's see how nasty it is here i've scrubbed everything from this ac back but i want to show you what tiger's blood does to this mold you can see it over here but look it's changing in colors it's so cool it's a cleaner that does magic tricks Ah, oh, such bullshit on the market today. <laughs> All I know is Tiger's Blood just works. And that's why you should buy it. Detailjuice.com. Not because it does stupid color changing magic tricks that really do nothing. It's just a marketing gimmick. But uh, there you go. Back to scrubbing. All right, roof is all clean. Scrub down, good to go. No nasty mold anywhere. All around the die core, everything's clean. Uh, while I'm up here, I generally will check the die core for cracks or anything that looks funny so that the client doesn't have to get up here and do that. Um, this die core, uh, I wouldn't say, well, it's definitely neglected. It's just sitting in the, the yard here for years, but it looks good. No real problems, no holes to speak of. It looks good. So I do the customer a favor while I'm up on the RV and I make sure that I look around and make sure that if anything's out of place, I let them know. Because all you need is one little pinhole and your RV is leaking and it is deteriorating fast. So I make sure I inspect everything, solar panels, all of that, make sure it looks good. So time to get down off this bad boy and uh, get cranking on the sides of this thing. 